Hello everyone, welcome back. In this module, we will learn how to format the data or the controls using HTML tables. Now, let's get started. Now, in lesson three of this HTML tutorial series, we have created this application form. If you see this application form, the labels are not properly aligned. If you see this, this is this should be properly like this, right? So if you see here, this is here, this is here, and this is here, this is here. So it's not proper. The labels are not proper. So ideally, so what we can do is, we can assume that this is a table. We can assume that this is a table, and we have these many rows here. So we have these many rows. And this one is, this cell is panning for two columns. So we can assume like that. Now what we can do is we can add a table tag and we'll put here, we'll divide into columns. Now see this, let me do it once again. So this is a table and let's assume this is, these are all rows we have. And in the first TD, we'll put this, in the first TD, we'll put this label and the second TD, we'll put this control so that everything looks properly aligned. So now, if you see, we don't have this properly aligned. We don't have this properly aligned. So let's make it properly aligned using HTML tables. Now what I will do is, first I will count how many rows are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the last one, we will merge the two columns. So I have to put seven TRs. So I have to put seven TRs and inside a TD. Now let's go back to the code. This is my application code that we created in lesson three. Now, what I'll do is I will put here, I'll put below this or, or here. Where is this? Here is the button saved. So I'm just modifying it. So I'll, I'll be adding here slowly one by one will remote and put it inside the table. So I have to put table and I'll put TR and inside I have to put, uh, let me add TD. So, and I will be adding TD here. Now this is for the label, this is for the control. Now this is first row. So I have to make the seven rows because in my application, if you see, I told this are seven rows. So now what I'll do is I will just copy this. TR, I'm copying this. Right click on this copy, I'll paste another six times. One control V, two control V, three control V, four control V, five control V and six control V. Now, if you see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows I have. Now, what I'll do is the first one, so I had to put this in the first TD of the first row, and this control I had to put in the second TD of the first row. So now I'll just do that now. First name, I'm just putting here, control X, put here, and this control here, input type text, I don't need BR tags anymore now because table itself will take the next row. So control X and put it here, done. Now I had to put here the second row, I had to put here password. I'll do this here, control X and put it in the first TD and the password box I'll put in the second. I don't need this BR tags anymore. So let's put it here. And third row I had to put text area address, control X and put it here in the first one and text area control, I'll put in the second TD control X. Sorry, I missed to put, I missed to copy the closing tag control Z and do it once again. Now control X and put it here in the second TD of the third row. Now this branch, I'll do control X and put it here, here. Now I'll do this, select this one without BR tags control X and put this here. Now I'll, I'll complete this for all, let me do it for gender. I'm doing this um, cut and paste here and the controls for this. I'm doing it real quickly now. Control X and paste it. Now here hobbies, let me copy this Control X and put it here. Now I have to put the controls, checkbox controls. I have to put it in the, in the right side cell of this. Control V. Now I have the last one. So I'm done with all the controls except the save button. And see all BR tags, I just want to delete this. Let me remove this. Now this one, I don't have two columns for this button, so I need to merge one. So using call span two, I have to put here, let's go to the last row, I'm putting call span two. 
this indicates that this is going to occupy two columns. Since I'm putting call span two, I don't need this. Now, if you're not clear with this, go through the previous lecture where I've explained about tables. Now I have to put this one, so let's go and put this. Now I'll do this control X and let me put it here. Okay, so we are good. Let's see how it looks like. So I will just add border one just to see how it looks like. Uh, after that, we can remove the border. So I'll just put here table. Now let's see how it looks like before adding border. Let's go to the browser. So as of this is the previous one without table, it's looking alignment is not proper. Let me refresh it now. So you can see it's okay now, alignment is proper. All are looking the same line, but it's look like compressed one. It's not looking so good. So, and also we need to add these labels to the right side, right align. So, so let's do this. We'll add some cell spacing. We'll add some cell spacing uh, is equal to tens. And let's see how it looks like. Now I'll just go back to this um, table and I will add here space cell spacing equal to 10. Let's see how it looks like. I'll just add some spaces between cells. This is looking better. And I will add some more spacing. Let's make it 20. Let's save it. Let's go back and refresh it. Okay, not bad. But now these are all properly aligned in a straight line. That's good. But this ending should be not good. So what we'll do is we'll just make it right aligned the TD. So here this one, I want to align the right side of the cells. So align align equal to right. And let's see how it looks like the first name. Refresh. So as of now, we don't see any change in this. Um, let's see if I align this um, right for this one. Password. Do you see any change? Okay, let's see how it looks like. I'll just put it here. Password and address and branch and gender and hobbies. And that's it. Now let's see how it looks like. Let me refresh it. Now this is okay. Now um, all these are aligned straight here, this side, right hand side, and this is a good coding practice that we see here. So all the labels should be right aligned properly and all these controls should be in the same row. And not bad, this is looking better. The only thing the button is looking slightly this side so we can make it align center. So what we'll do here is the last one you can put here, align is equal to center. Now let's see how it looks like. Let's go back and refresh it. So you can see here, everything is looking fine. So if you still want to make it better, maybe you can increase the uh, cell spacing to 25, look better. So let's say this now, 25. So let's save it. Let's go back and refresh it. It's all fine now, right? So what we have done is we have, uh, we have made it properly formatted, this uh, application form using HTML tables so that it looks better. And I hope all of you are clear how to use tables for formatting the application forms, right? So thank you and see you in the next module.